friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my classic catch-all happy planner for the week of November 15th through, uh, what, the 21st, I think. And okay, so last week, I know I used a dashboard because I was like, oh, it works so much better for my brain. And I realized that it did work better for my brain when I wasn't using daily sheets. But now that I'm using daily sheets, I don't need to put as much in my catch-all because mostly I just put like the big things in here and then I put like my actual to-dos in the daily sheets. So more or less, this is like kind of, I don't know, it's not as like I don't even know the words. I guess it's not utilized as much. So I don't really need the space of the dashboard, if that makes sense. Like this actually does work. I just have to figure out how I want to make it work. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So I want to use, I bought this new Love for Letters book from the fall release from the Happy Planner. And I love this book. It's so pretty. But it's not super decorative, you know, because it's kind of like a functional book, right? Like it's supposed to help you with your lettering. So I wanted to find some something to go with it. So I pulled out Muted Blooms from Live Love Posh because a lot of these are obviously muted. And I think that will work really nicely with these colors. I just have to decide which ones I want to use. So I was thinking these without the ones like in vases, obviously. But I don't know if they're the right like color. I really want them to be the right color, but I don't know if they are. I mean, they match okay, but I'm not sure. The other ones I was thinking, so I was thinking those, but I think those are too dark. Or I feel like there was another one. Or those, but I think those are too dark also. So I think I'm just gonna try to make these work. There weren't any other ones, right? That I was, oh, or these, those were the other ones. Those ones actually might work better because they have kind of this like bluish gray, which I think there's some of that in here, unless I'm crazy, maybe there's not. But I think these ones might work better. And I think the reason is because like this green is so bright and I don't think that's gonna like, it's not really the vibe that I'm going for, I guess. Like this book isn't have like bright brights. Not really at least. Yeah, this matches a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna use these. So let's, oh, I've already used some of these. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and just start with this big one then. Oh my gosh, this is a massive sticker. Okay, so it's too big to go there. So it's gonna have to go there or in the sidebar. Maybe in the sidebar. That might be fun. Let's do that. So just going to try. Okay, so it's gonna have to, oh my goodness, it would start storming right now. I really hope that that storm does not get crazy. So I'm going to be really sad if I can't keep filming this. Hopefully it's not too bad. We'll, we'll see. If it gets really bad, I will stop and just come back to this. But hopefully it's not too awful. That thunder was very loud, but hopefully that's it. Okay. So, okay, that's pretty. I like that a lot. I also, because I decided that I don't need this to be like as majorly functional, I kind of want to put like some giant quotes in here. And there's some really giant quotes in this book. So let's find ones that I want. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. What does that say? Pretty words? I was like, what does that say? Um, hmm, I kind of like that one. Words don't build a future, your actions do. I also like this one. The person who doesn't make mistakes is unlikely to make anything. I feel like that's, wow. 
let's see the person who doesn't oh it's the same quote it's just bigger and in a different color okay hmm um let's let's go with this one i like this one oh my goodness i'm not gonna be able to get it off the page though why has this been such a struggle for me lately lord only knows okay so i think i want to use this one and then oh i could probably use that peach one actually because there are some like peachy flowers here so let's do that also. I'm going to put this one on this side because this side is smaller. Like there's less space. And I'm just going to put this here because I feel like that's a good like Monday sentiment, you know, like words don't build a future. Your actions do like you got to follow through on what you're doing, on what you say you're going to do. So let's use oh this is more orange than peach isn't it hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. maybe we'll just do like the peach orange and green maybe those are our colors let's just try it you know there's no harm in trying right right okay i'm gonna move that for a moment i feel like i need to put some flowers wow that was really loud okay let me, um, I'll just come back to this when it's maybe not thundering and lightning so much. Okay. The rain seems to have, uh, figured itself out. It's no longer obnoxiously storming. So <laughs> since I had pulled that sticker out and I wanted to use it, I just stuck it on some wax paper. So let's get back to this. Maybe hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to edit that very loud thunder out because I went back and listened because I was like maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought no it was very loud if I did not edit it out if I did not figure it out I'm very sorry very sorry because it was very loud and it actually like I don't know if you could tell but I definitely jumped it because it scared the crap out of me <laughs> but it's fine <laughs> okay Oh, I really like that though. I kind of want to leave that, but I also kind of want this to go all the way down here. Eh, what do I do? I guess I could just do it like right above it. Okay, let's do that. Because like I was saying, I want to put some flowers in this spread. Or on this side in this spread. I already put flowers in the spread, Sydney. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Okay. Oh Lord, I cannot cut a straight line. I've been like, I've had a really bad habit lately of cutting the paper every time I've tried to cut something off the edge. So that's fun. Trying to avoid that <laughs> this time around. Okay, let's take this and put this away because I don't think I need that anymore. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if you could hear that. I definitely burped because I went and ate in the process of waiting for the rain to chill out. Okay. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay. I like that a lot. Okay. So now we need to bring some green over here and some of this color, orangey peach color over to the other side. So let's start at the beginning here and see what we've got. Um... <clears throat> Oh, I should also probably like look at my monthly and figure out what I have happening this week. Oh no, I have a clip. I forgot. I got these new, I'll show you. I got these cute little clips to like clip pages together so that I didn't have to use those, um, like the, I'll show you also like these bookmarks that come in, you know, that like come in extension packs or like these are like the, the stencils. I like having something to mark my page, but those bookmarks make your planner so thick and these are perfect because they just like hold the pages together. So let's see, what do I have? <clears throat> what week even is this? Questions. Oh, there. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. So I have a Zoom 
for Elise's Patreon. I'm a member of her Patreon. I have that and uh, that's literally all that I have to do this week. So let's just stick in some boxes. <clears throat> there is like totally something stuck in my throat now after eating. So that's cute. Um, this is kind of cute and kind of like, I kind of like it for, <clears throat> um, sorry, give me a second. Sorry, I had to cough and I know you didn't want to hear that. Okay. So I was saying, I kind of like this because I think it's kind of like cute and for like the zoom, but I don't know. Let's see what else there is. I do kind of like that though. Okay. A lot of this stuff back here is lettering. Um, hmm. Ooh, I love page flags. Those are so cute. Oh, maybe we just use this note to self. Okay. I'm going to put my hand there and see what else is in here. I think that's, yeah, more alphabet. Okay. Okay. Let's just use this note to self box and maybe I'll just put like a different header over it. Like what if there, I wonder if there's like a green header of some sort. Um, reminder. Sure. Let's do that. Um, I think I'm going to use this green and maybe a flower also. This is not going to cover this perfectly, is it? Uh, not perfectly, but it's pretty close. So I'm just going to go with it. Let's see which flower do I want? <clears throat> um, I was thinking I wanted a peach one because I need peach flowers on this page, but I don't want a peach flower with this like peachy orange box. So let's go with this one. And sometimes when I use two sticker books, I feel like my desk is way too small. Okay. I feel like my desk is way too small a lot, but especially when I use two sticker books, I'm just like, uh, there's not any room. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that there. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Let's go with that. And then, okay, I literally have nothing else, but I think I'm just going to put a box on every day and a checklist on like a couple days. <clears throat> because usually the way that I use my catch-all is just like as a, I don't know, just kind of like a um, put the important things in, like put the big things in that I want to get done. And then I, um, write like the actual, like, okay, these are like the things I need to do this day in, <clears throat> in my, um, daily planner. Wow. I cannot like think of words today to save my life. Okay, let's do that. And then maybe another header. Let's do this one that says today. Um, let's just put it on. Let's put it on Friday. And it's going to cover stuff at the top. I already know it is. Oh, wow. It managed to not. That's kind of impressive. I pretty much had figured it was going to cover that at the top, but it did not. So that's kind of cool. Just covered that line, but that's fine. Okay. Again, doesn't cover those words perfectly, but it's pretty good. All right. Now I wish I would have put this up here near this, but it's okay. We're just going to have to bring in some of the like pink color, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Oh, these only come in that red. Okay. What else is in here? Um, 
I could use this and then cover up the top. I wish there were more boxes that had like just white space in them. Oh, that one doesn't have anything written on it. So maybe that one. Yeah, all of these boxes are like, I mean, obviously because they're for lettering, but they're all very, um, like they're all colored in. That's what I wanted. Hmm. What do I want to do? I guess I'll grab this one. and put it on Monday, I think. And it's gonna need something with it because it's gonna be really boring if it's just this box. <laughs> I don't know. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought if I brought in flowers, it would not be so difficult. I was very wrong. That was obviously just wishful thinking. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's just put this on Monday. I don't think that's straight. I think the box itself is actually crooked. I don't know. We're just going to leave it. <laughs> All right, let's put one of these peach flowers over here. We'll just put it there, maybe. Yeah, that's okay. And then I think, okay, so Tuesday has a box, Monday has a box. So I'll put a box here on Wednesday, and then maybe just like a couple flags here, maybe, or maybe I'll just leave that blank. And then I'll put a checklist here. So let's grab a checklist really quick. Actually, let's grab a green box first. <laughs> Are there not any plain green boxes? Okay, well, there's this, but then I don't really want to put a checklist. Um, we could do this, but it's not really... Like I don't have anything important for that day, so let's just put another header, maybe. Hmm. Or I have this box. which is still gonna need a header. So I guess I will just use this. I'm sorry, I did not expect this to be so difficult. Um, maybe I'll just put like one of these plain ones on it. Let's see. Maybe in like this other shade of green? Or maybe we do the pink. I kind of want that line to show though, I think. Oh, this is really light and you can definitely see through it, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. Um, okay, what does the other page look like? Okay, so the green box is like right in the top. So I'm kind of thinking I don't want this like in the top. I think I want it like here. And then I don't know what I'm going to put up there. Maybe more flowers. Like maybe I take the, uh, maybe I take this and okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this. 
<clears throat> I'm going to put this down in this section, I think. This is definitely going to cover some of the top, a lot of the top. So maybe I'll cut the top off. I think I'm just going to cut this one like to have some flat edges. And then that is not straight. It's like, I don't think that's perfectly squared, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. Yeah, definitely not perfectly squared, but that's okay. And then we'll just stick this box like into this floral. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, I was just going to flip there through there to find functional things. That's not going to work. I know there were checklists. Okay. Let's put this like pinkish reddish one. Cause I don't think there, well, there was another page of them. I thought, but yeah, it's the same colors. So we're just going to stick this right here. Okay. And then let's do, okay. So that's a Friday box. So Thursday, I think here. Yeah. Or do I want it there? I think it kind of depends on what box I want to put. I think I want an orange one because, um, <clears throat> I don't want to put orange like above this. So let's do this big orange one. And I'm going to put it like in between these two boxes. Like that. And then on that one, because like on this one, I put the floral on top. So on this one, I'll put the floral on top as well. Let's use Let's use this one, I guess but I'm going to put it in a different spot. So like here, maybe. So I'll have to punch that, but that's okay. I do definitely need to get a crocodile punch. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need to get a crocodile punch because I keep doing that, but it's fine. We're just going to go with it. All right. Now I have to decide where I'm going to put my checklist, maybe here. And that makes like Friday all green, but that's fine. I will survive. Okay. Because like, that's honestly like all I need is just like a couple checklists because I use my daily so heavily. And then I just need like a pink, pinkish reddish box. Um, these double boxes that are in here are not quite the right shape, but like, because they're meant for a horizontal planner, but if I could find one, I might be able to make it work, but I don't see one in that color. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Hmm. There's definitely not an even distribution of colors in this book, or at least I feel like there's not. Let's see. What if I just use, I feel like this is really big and it's not going to fit. It will if I overlap stuff. Oops, sorry. Hit the camera. Okay. I could put that there. Or I could cut it. 
I don't like that there at all, actually. Yeah, okay. I don't even really like this thing at all, if I'm being honest. I just kind of wanted to like, I wanted it to work, but let's do this section of florals up in the top. If I can get them out of the book. Story of my life, right? Can't get any stickers out of anywhere. Um, well, I did kind of want it there, but now I feel like that would be weird. Maybe, maybe I just like make a corner out of it. Because there's definitely not as many flowers on this side as there are on the other side. Okay. Which really, like, the flowers just comes down to there's that on that side. And there's not anything like that on this side. I do really want to find a box or two to put on Saturday or Sunday, though. I think I'm done with the flowers. Um, but... The thing is, there's not that many box choices in this book. I guess I could just use this. And I see, I wish there was like a darker green one too. I guess that is the darker green, isn't it? Those are different. Yeah, I think they are kind of different. Hmm. But, oh, maybe I actually think... There might have been a, gr a red, like, okay, so there's two of them, and I could just cover those tops up. Hmm. They're both really small, though. I guess this one is the same size as the one I put on the other side, but I kind of want two boxes up here. But there's kind of not, like, room unless they're, like, right next to each other. And then what colors do I make them? Because I feel like if I put two of the same color, it's going to be a lot. You know? Okay. This is turning into a long video, so I just need to make a decision. And I think I'm going to put this box here. I'll put it here. And then I'll take a little, one of those little, uh, things, one of these, <laughs> that's really specific, I know. And I guess it'll be green. And again, it's not going to cover it perfectly. It's really not going to cover much of it at all, but what I, oh goodness. Well, I don't want it to hang off the page. So maybe I flip this one over and have it go the other direction. Uh, then it's the only one, so just kidding. I'm just gonna move it over more. Indecision, I'm very good at it. Oh crap, that's crooked. Oh my Lord. This is what happens. I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. And then I start going too fast and then everything becomes a disaster. Okay. And then because those letters are like sticking down into the box, I'm just going to take this white Uniball Signo and I'm just going to cover up the parts that are going into the box. And yeah. I might have to go over it again, but for the most part, that will work. Oh, and then I was going to put another checklist. That was the decision that I made. Oh, but it needs, to, oh no, orange. It can be orange. I was like, oh no, it needs to be green. No, it doesn't. Because this is like a perfect amount of checklists for me because of using the daily planner. Okay, let's look at it. It's cute. It's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. 
I don't know what I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I really had no expectations for how this spread was going to look. I just knew that I wanted to use a, make a spread with these stickers. So let's put this back into my planner. And then because I did use a dashboard or I guess I'm currently, oh no, I forgot I need to punch that. <laughs> ah, and this is why I need a crocodile punch. So if anyone wants to like buy me a Christmas present, just kidding. I'll get one eventually. Okay. Now it can go in the planner. And like I was saying, because I used the dashboard last week, I'm going to have to glue these pages in or like tape them together. So I'm just have my Tombow um, mono adhesive and I'm just going to run it along these lines or along these edges, these lines. What is wrong with me? which I'm sure you've seen plenty of people do this because it's fairly common, but all right. And then I'll just push that all the way in and then I will take this and hopefully this will lay down fairly level on top of the other one. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay. And there you have my spread using Muted Blooms from Love Love Posh and the Love for Letters sticker book from the Happy Planner Fall release. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!